வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் வீடியோ ஆன் பயோமெக்கானிக்ஸ் வி ஹவ் பின் லுக்கிங் அட் தி பயோமெக்கானிக்கல் அனாலிசிஸ் ஆஃப் தி ஜாயின்ஸ் ஆஃப் த அப்பர் லிம்ப் இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் வி லுக் அட் ஷோல்டர் ஜாயிண்ட் எல்போ ஜாயிண்ட் அண்ட் ரெஸ்ட் ஜாயிண்ட் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வில் பி லுக்கிங் அட் தி மசில்ஸ் தட் சப்ளை அண்ட் ஸ்பேன் த ஜாயிண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஃபிங்கர்ஸ் so finger movements themselves are uh, made possible through muscles that supply the joints through long tendons that span across the wrist these are the so called extrinsic finger muscles but then there are also muscles that are present within the hand these muscles are called as the intrinsic muscles so within these we have two major types of muscles or two major classification one is the set of muscles that supply the thumb they are located on the tenar eminence at the base of the thumb right at the base of the thumb they are made up of three muscles that control the movements of the thumb very crucial function thumb movement for dexterity then you have the hypothenar eminence base of the fifth digit here base of the fifth digit this is the base of the fifth digit this is the first digit second third fourth fifth this is the fifth digit base of the fifth digit the little finger and this is made up of four muscles that contract to produce movement of the little finger often overlooked is the contribution of little finger to hand dexterity because uh, we think it's a baby finger it's a little finger it's a pinky it's this important to note that only the little finger and the thumb have their own special muscle supply of course part of this is uh, due to the fact that they have the extra space in which you could house these muscles because the other three muscles because the other three fingers are located between these two fingers and so there is not enough space to host individual uh, finger movement muscles that uh, that is understood but uh, the little finger also has special muscles just like the thumb so when it comes to dexterity when it comes to special nature i would say this is arguable i would say that uh, the little finger is arguably the second most dexterous finger in terms of kinematics and in terms of articulation movement and muscle supply controversial statement so what are these muscles abductor pollicis brevis so this originates at on the flexor retinaculum tubercles of the scaphoid which is a carpal bone trapezium tendon of the abductor pollicis longus so it receives supply from a different muscle which is abductor pollicis longus and then it inserts on the radial side of the base of the proximal phalanx of the thumb which is this is the proximal phalanx of the thumb it attaches here right radial side of the base of the proximal phalanx of the thumb what is its function it abducts the thumb at right angles to the plane of the palm this is the plane of the palm that abducts the the uh, thumb at right angles to the plane of the palm and rotates the thumb medially right so some important contribution to dexterity here yes. then you have flexor digiti minimi brevis from the name we can try and guess where is it supplying because the name includes the word minimi right minimi means a muscle that supplies the little finger okay. from the hook of the hamate and flexor retinaculum hamate is a carpal bone so again originates within the hand 
okay. The insertion is on the medial side of the base of the proximal phalanx of the little finger. So, just like you have this for the thumb, you also have a supply close to the proximal phalanx of the little finger responsible for flexion of the MCP joint of the little finger. Remember that the little finger also has supply from the extrinsic muscle to do the same function. Okay. Then you have flexor pollicis brevis, it is a superficial muscle or its superficial head originates on the flexor retinoculum and tubercle of the trapezium. Trapezium is a carpal bone remember this is trapezium. Okay. The deep muscle or the deep heads originate on the trapezoid and the capitate bones trapezoid that is that and the capitate bones. The insertion is on the radial side of the proximal phalanx of the thumb. Right. What is its function? Flexion of the thumb, proximal phalanx of the thumb. Flexion of the proximal phalanx of the thumb is the function. Then you have a very special muscle, unique, very, very special muscle called opponent's pollicis opponent's pollicis. Again uh, we can guess where it, it is located and its function by the name opponent's. Right. So, it originates from the flexor retinoculum and tubercles of the scaphoid and trapezium. Let us remember where is the scaphoid that is the scaphoid. Okay. This is the trapezium. And interacts with the abductor pollicis long or the abductor pollicis longus muscle tendon. Remember abductor pollicis longus is a extrinsic muscle. Again attaches to the radial side of the brakes so, base of the proximal phalanx of the thumb. What is its function? Function is to rotate the thumb into opposition with the fingers rotate the thumb into opposition with the fingers like this. It is a very unique function that humans can perform with a lot of finish, uh, very unique uh, function. While other animals can do this uh, with some difficulty, uh, humans have the unique ability to do uh, this partly may be due to the presence of this well developed opponent's muscle. Right. So, main function is opposition. Then you have opponent's digiti minimi. Again, minimi means little finger. It's a triangular muscle right, that originates at the hook of the hamate and flexor retinoculum. Where is the hamate? Remember, that is the hamate. Originates at the hamate, which is a carpal bone and attaches inserts onto the ulnar side of the palmar surface, palmar surface the ulnar side this is the ulnar side, ulnar side the palmar surface of the fifth metacarpal. So, very small muscle that means originates here which is uh, the, the hamate right originates here and then attaches here an intrinsic muscle which is very very small. What is its function? Flexion of the fifth metacarpophalangeal joint and lateral rotation of the CMC and the MCP joint of the fifth digit or the little finger. Right. So, flexion and lateral rotation of the little finger which is why we say that the little finger has some special ability not as much dexterity as the thumb definitely some slightly better dexterous supply. So, with this we come to the end of this video. In this video we saw the muscles that supply the fingers. Thank you very much for your attention.